Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this solid state relay. This is the Omron G3MB. We are going to see how we can use this to control an AC bulb like this uh, without Arduino and also with the Arduino. You can get the code for, for this project by clicking on the link in the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. As you can see, this is the actual module and it has been rated as five, volt, five volts DC. And the load it can control is an AC load of uh, 200 up to 240 volts and two ampere. So the amount of load that you're connecting to this module, so let me hold it in my hand so you can see the size. So the load that you're connecting to this module cannot exceed this rating. If we do two times 240, so you can do up to 480 volt watt AC if you're uh, in a region that the voltage is 120 volts, so 120 times two, so you can connect a load of up to 240 watt AC. On this module, we have four pins. From this side, it's one, two, three, four. So the negative will be connected here and positive will be connected here. These modules are offered in three different types. So we have five volts and other voltages. So that I'm using the five volts because it's compatible with Arduino. We'll connect the negative here, the positive here. The two wires for the um, AC load will be connected here, which I'm gonna show you next. Here is the data sheet for this model and G3MB is offered in different versions so G3MB 202P is the model that I am showing and this one can have a, a 5 volts, 12 volts or 24 volts which will be printed on the module and the module that I have as I showed you is 5 volts. In terms of resistance, input impedance so this is 450 50 ohm at 5 volts. Operating current is 7 to 20 milliampere. And there are other characteristics if you need it. So let me explain the AC bulb here. So this is a table light that is connected to the wall outlet and then the wire goes and will be turned on. But I have disconnected one of these two wires here. So let me show you. So I've just cut this wire from here. Now this can be connected to the uh, relay. The relay job is to just connect it. So it will be on and disconnected will be off. I've just twisted them and then put some solder so this can be inserted into a uh, connector with a screw. Uh, this is the relay. Now here we have, we have two pens here. The two pens that you can see here, this, the left side is this pen, the wire. It has been connected to the negative. This goes to the ground. And the second pen, which is here, I've connected it to positive. This goes to five volts. And on this side, there are two pins which are connected to the two wires that I showed you in the video that will go to the relay. So one will go here, the other will go here. So I have inserted them here. This, by the way, cannot go easily in here. So I have forced it, but the distance are perfectly matching. A little force is needed if you want to practice on the breadboard. But if you want to solder it directly, it can work. The positive will be connected here. So now I'm just, if I remove it, as you can see, the AC load is disconnected. So the wire that comes here is disconnected. So if I connect it, it will be turned on. So this way you can use it without an Arduino, with a switch or whatever, just disconnect the five volts and it will turn on and off. Now let's go for Arduino and I'm gonna show you the code. Uh, first and then we will control this using Arduino because you can do the control of a 
heater, uh, fan or light or whatever using Arduino based on some settings, based on some event that is triggered, the temperature increases, the pressure, some value changes and you can control the load. Let me explain the code here. I've defined pen 8 as a relay pen. So we call it 8 and then we use that. And then inside the setup function, which starts from here to here, we have only one uh, line that does uh, something, and that is we set pen 8, or which is relay pen, as an output. That's what we do. After that, we go inside the loop. In the loop, we say digital write, relay pen, low. So we are setting the relay to be off. So we are turning it off. And then we keep that off in for 2 seconds or 2,000 milliseconds. And then after this waiting time, then we go to relay pen, which is 8. Just 8 will be typed here. And we set it as high. Now the relay will be on, but we have to wait for 2 seconds to see the on. And after this, the loop comes back and repeats. So... Uh, what you do is that when you want to turn on or turn off a relay, so turn it on, you can do your code here. For example, if uh, let's say you have voltage above and the the voltage increases, you want some something happen or the relay should on, and then the relay can turn on a fan or something or let's say temperature. So you say temperature is bigger than 65 and then then you said turn on the relay and that's it so beginning and end so this if this condition is true then do this so the temperature is a variable you have it somewhere here or maybe here or even at the top so it doesn't matter where so when the temperature reaches bigger than 65 this will happen or turn it on or maybe you can set it low to turn it off and then you can say else Ad otherwise then if this is high you can put the low here if you wish or turn the motor on or something else so the whole point is that based on the some event you or you can do it the other way decrease whatever so you j just put an f condition with something that becomes true so this will happen if it's, if this is not true this will happen as simple as that and now this is the working uh, demonstration of the code that i showed you so the ground is connected to the ground of arduino and then this line which was connected to 5 volts is now connected to pin 8 so this gets 5 volts only under the condition that we have here when the pin 8 is high we will see this relay will turn on and when it's low it will turn off so the two pin is the same as before the first pin is connected to the ground and the second pin here is connected to the positive and the two wires are connected at the same exact location so this was brief introduction on how to use a sample uh, module without a pcb thank you for watching please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos and if you have any question please post it at the comment section section below and i'll try to answer and reply Take care. So if, because the circuit needs inter, uh, uh, snapping capacitor and resistor, so for any of this triac, 